العيد or عيد الفطر where we eat uh, many cookies and كحك and uh, very uh, not unhealthy but uh, some stuff who could lead to some uh, more fats or uh, some uh, weight gain. Um, how can we keep our, uh, ourselves in shape after the end of Ramadan as we are uh, uh, in the summer season as well uh, with many temptations uh, regarding the fruit and uh, the food as well while we are on holiday. That would be our topic for discussion uh, for today with our dear guest Dr. Heba Samidin, our nutritionist. Good morning Dr. Heba. Good morning. Good morning Dr. Heba and uh, of course uh, before talking about uh, healthy diets after uh, Ramadan and after Eid and during uh, summer vacations, I would like you to tell us more about uh, why is fasting important? And how can we benefit from fasting? Uh, fasting is very important because it relaxes our uh, our body, it relaxes our uh, any, uh, gastric system and our stomach uh, from uh, eating uh, a lot of food uh, all over the year. Uh, also help in detox, in detox your body. Mm -hmm. When you are fasting uh, for mm -hmm. a long time, uh, you can uh, keep your body more relaxed, more uh, detoxification from any any uh, poisonous or any excess fats or excess food. This is the true uh, benefits of fasting but in Egypt يعني, or in, uh, in Arab society they uh, يعني, make it bad uh, because they are overeating uh, a lot of uh, sweets and a lot of fats uh, after uh, the iftar after breaking their fast yes Mm. So uh, we have to uh, يعني, make it uh, a good benefit, not uh, يعني, direct it to, to a bad way or to a bad, a bad thing. Uh, actually, after Ramadan, we have three kinds of people. Uh, people who are uh, maintaining their body weight, they are ideal people. That, uh, يعني, they mm. are uh, like they enter the, the Ramadan, like they uh, exist from Ramadan. And it's, it's not uh, يعني, the same. The, same. Uh, the, the second type, uh, that uh, they are um, losing weight in Ramadan. Uh, they are uh, in, in, a, in a catastrophe. Uh, they are uh, in a bad condition. And after this, if they are in the in the feast and they, in the Eid eating a lot of kahka and oraiba and biscuits and so on, they will gain more weight. <laughs> yeah, you, you, they can uh, get, uh, gain uh, about five to ten uh, kilograms in some cases mm -hmm. because of uh, overeating of sweets okay, and uh, fats. Like yes. Uh, the, the, the one, uh, one piece of kahk may contain from 200 to 400 calories. The one, the only one The piece only of one. Kahk. And, and, For, yes. Till 400. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, according to uh, the, uh, the amount of sugar added and to butter, it or, or in butter. Or the, there is no kahk diet, diet kahk? Or can you uh, I heard about it, but like it, will, it, will, it won't be good taste and uh, people will want to buy it uh, also. Uh, I see not any, they are not uh, going to eat one or two. They, uh, they are eating a lot of uh, a plate full of kahka and uh, urayeba and pt4 mm -hmm. and biscuit, a lot of... Yani. I believe urayeba is mm -hmm. more heavier mm -hmm. than, uh, yes. heavier yes, actually yes, than yes. kahk. Uh, because uh, a lot of butter <coughs> in it and a lot of fats. Mm -hmm. uh, biscuits are the least, the less uh, calories. Any biscuits are uh, any maybe the best of them. Uh, is a second, the pt4 or something like any more, any... You, also, uh, when you add butter or fat, you will go gain more weight. And so try to just and eat one or two maximum. And not just taste. And I, I, the most important is to taste the kahka or to taste the cookies, not overeating. Not or not over. And just okay. It's a tradition in Egypt. Um, I don't know why they any are any like to uh, to celebrate with food. Any all, all over the time they are celebrating with food. No, try to celebrate with anything healthy. Try to celebrate mm -hmm. by uh, visiting neighbors or to uh, go out in a good place but even if uh, dr Hiba, and of course you know that even if we visit each others we uh, do provide yes. provide food and drinks and all of these stuff to greet the people who are coming <laughs> to you so what's the sense and um, it's um, somehow a habit mm -hmm. that we, we do uh, a cultural thing what is the convenient uh, portion that we should be taken uh, during the light? Like I said, a, sm a very small portion, uh, like one or two kahk, one two or two mm. biscuits. Uh, not overeat, you know, just okay, it's tradition to eat, but just uh, to, to mingle with people, or just one piece uh, is enough. Yes, uh, and also I like drinks, man. I'd like w when you uh, uh, eat mm. uh, this uh, fatty kahk or to drink what? Drink uh, something, uh, burning the fats, like, like uh, cinnamon. Cinnamon are very, very. Uh, 
important and very very good in burning fats and increasing the uh, what is the rate. proper way of doing the cinnamon is it just a sachet or uh, we, we it's any, better to bur uh, to boil it with water uh, any any uh, any 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 thing will be good but uh, any boiling is a better one mm -hmm. also adding cinnamon to tea also maybe uh, the, what about tea itself mm -hmm. is it is it a fat burner uh, to somehow Tea, to some extent, yes. uh, uh, not the green no tea, I mean the red tea, the, the usual the red tea. tea. and green tea are better than the red tea, but red tea also is a good to, uh, antioxidant and uh, also burning, but, uh, but not, uh, not a good burner. Less than the cinnamon. Caffeine mm. also uh, uh, is a fat coffee, burner. Yes, a fat burner, but not with large amount. In just one small cup of coffee may be good all over Any the day. Any kind of coffee, Dr. Heba? Uh, green coffee. Green coffee uh, is a better. But uh, uh, people are not very used to these uh, green coffee yet. Try it. It's, it's, it has a very good taste. Uh, when you uh, try it, you make love it. And, and now uh, some drugs for uh, losing weight are Contain including green, uh, coffee green, coffee. green coffee. Green coffee. What, what about uh, the Turkish coffee, the usual coffee? Uh, also, it's good in, in increasing the metabolic rate, but not that Excessive. much yes yeah. and uh, may be harmful to people who are uh, having hypertension okay. yeah. yes, yes uh, yeah. brown coffee not uh, yes. good for hypertension yes. Mm -hmm. yes what about water it's also a fat burner yes yes mm -hmm. uh, water can also clean cleaning your body from any any toxins uh, giving a uh, nutrition to the, the skin to be to be uh, in a good condition to all the body organs need water uh, about two-thirds of your uh, of your body is water so uh, I, I like to eat any you know, drink water all over the day not also any not when you are feeling thirsty no we need to drink water all over the day to keep what is uh, the proper amount hydrated. of water that we should be drinking per day uh, dr Hip? Uh, about uh, uh, two to three liters it's, mm. it's good just two, two water large, okay. or we could take it in another way the tea coffee the or best the juice is water the best is pure water just water. yes it's, a, it's a, the best mm. uh, when we add yani, it, it will give uh, your body fluids but but not like the pure water in benefits. Yeah. In water, pure water have more benefits than when we mix it with, with any other tea or anything. Mm. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, also, we can mix uh, um, like uh, lemons with uh, yes, water. Yes, that was my coming mm -hmm. question. Now, um, we have been reading a lot about the detoxing, detoxing water. water yes. uh, just we keep the water in the fridge overnight, maybe or for a few hours with pieces of cucumber, mint, uh, lemon, what, what's ginger. the ginger? Ginger. ginger. Uh, so uh, can you give us a recipe for the best uh, detoxing water, which is uh, moisturizing and uh, good for our health and help in uh, reducing uh, weight. The, the weight as well? Uh, add uh, all uh, all things you like to the water to be to, to be mm. a yeah, good detox water. Add ginger, add uh, uh, cinnamon, mint. Uh, add mint, add lemon. Some people said you add um, oil, um, uh, honey, white honey, uh, white and honey. ginger. I don't uh, like to no, add uh, honey to water. I drink uh, or take a lot, a uh, small of uh, spoon of uh, honey uh, alone, not with anything. Mm -hmm. I like uh, uh, at early morning, take a small spoon of, uh, of honey. It will be very, very, very beneficial to the body and to the metabolic rate. And honey mm -hmm. is very good, but I, I like to uh, take it alone, not with water. So mm -hmm. honey, you don't add weight uh, eating, uh, taking a spoon of honey. It, uh, it doesn't add weight, one spoon, though it's sugar. One spoon, uh, not not much in mm -hmm. honey contain calories also mm -hmm. but not much but it's better than uh, the white sugar white mm -hmm. sugar is a poison yeah, yeah. even the, the kahka I, I see I see put a large amount of white sugar so in sugar it, it's catastrophic yes. brown sugar yes what what's the difference sugar? here between the brown sugar and the white sugar uh, brown Dr. sugar Heba? less calories than the white sugar but the white still sugar, it's harmful yes still I have calories in it. still the, the brown it's, sugar it's yes. not diet uh, not die, but it's more healthy than mm. the white. You know, if you have option to take a white or brown sugar, you go take to the, the brown, brown sugar. And there's mm. also the fruit sugar. A uh, fruit sugar, no. Fruit sugar like the white sugar, okay. it's the same calories. Brown sugar, less calories. The the the, you know, the best in diet is the uh, mm. diet sugar, you know, without any calories, uh, maybe. Uh, but not av avoid aspartame. You know, mm. There is uh, uh, sugar for diet, but without the aspartame because it's a harmful uh, substance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, and now we find, uh, Dr. Heba, that uh, there is brown um, macro pasta, brown, brown uh, bread. rice as well. Mm -hmm. uh, to what extent these uh, food, the food uh, which is brown, 
is better than the usual pasta and rice. Uh, it's very, very uh, important to and go the to the brown. bread, of course. Yes, brown bread, brown, uh, brown sugar, like I said, brown it's macaroni. Straw. It's mm. in its straw yes. uh, form. More. Yes, it's raw form and less calories and have whole, and you like whole grains. Mm. You, when you take the, these brown things, you have the whole grains and it's very helpful uh, having more fibers in it, having less calories in it, uh, so it will be helpful and more uh, beneficial to your body. Yeah. Right. Uh, well, during Ramadan, uh, usually people eat uh, two meals a day mm -mm. and then they will move on to their usual three meals mm -mm. a day. So uh, how can this uh, transition affect the body? Also, uh, the sleeping hours also. Any, the sleeping hour transition will uh, be uh, some extent difficult to some people to uh, be, regain their normal sleeping hours. Sleeping hours is very important in burning rate, in metabolic rate. And if you sleep a good uh, hours of sleeping, you will uh, have a, a more uh, metabolic rate and, mm. uh, and more healthy state. So uh, regain to uh, sleep early and wake up early, number one. Number two, try to uh, eat breakfast. Breakfast is very, very, very important. What should we eat in breakfast, the proper uh, meal that mm -mm. we should be eating in breakfast? I like, like I said, we take a small spoon of honey uh, after we wake. Uh, honey, maybe with yogurt and oat uh, or something like no, that? No, I like oh. starting with um, pure honey. honey, just honey. Mm. Uh, after this, we can drink water or taking, uh, uh, like, uh, the, like I said, brown bread, brown toast uh, with uh, um, light, uh, light cheese uh, or maybe uh, eggs. It's very, very helpful to, ha to have protein in breakfast, in protein. How often we should be eating eggs per week? Um, if you, according to age, if you are, uh, in, uh, children may, t may uh, eat a lot of, any, of amount oh, of yes. eggs, um, also uh, 30s. Uh, Even on daily basis, no problem? No for problem. Children? No problem. Children uh, eat uh, mm. eggs, it's very, very good to them. It's a whole, any, whole protein. Any mm -hmm. Eggs contain a lot of uh, proteins which the child uh, needs. Mm -hmm. So uh, maybe you take four, uh, four eggs per day, just two uh, at breakfast and two at, uh, it's Dinner. okay. Yes, um, uh, for uh, people who have cholesterol, high cholesterol level, no, I any mean, just one egg, I mean, maximum a day. A day. Uh, and if the that cholesterol that's not much, a white, or you need, uh, just take the white, uh, the egg white, not the. Uh, yeah. Yellow, yes. Yeah, you take the egg white one, uh, it's good. Uh, but if the cholesterol is very, very high, avoid uh, eating eggs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it's very, very high and uh, low calorie. And I like boiling mm -hmm. eggs. You know, if you, uh, the boiled eggs, not boil, the uh, omelette uh, yes. uh, because it will not, have yeah, butter no. as well. Having uh, oils or butters because mm -hmm. uh, they are fatty and more calories. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, uh, the lesser baram or this Saeed uh, have uh, certain traditions when it comes to food, mm -hmm. uh, like the salted fish. Mm -hmm. So uh, how uh, far does salted fish affect the body, affect the diet and so on? I don't like salted fish at all. Yeah. No. You just avoid it's it. It's not healthy. It's not healthy at all. Yeah. All the sorts of maybe poisonous. Fish. Yes, maybe poisonous. Uh, do, you don't know how it was made. You don't know how it was made. Uh, any, it, it's any uh, poisons. Any, it's poison fish because it, it may Even contain. Even smoked salmon. Uh, smoked salmon and uh, ringa, yani, uh, Ring. uh, smoked fish are, are good. Yani, go to smoked, not to salted. Yani, if you, yani, you have the choice, choose the mm. uh, smoked uh, fish. Yes. Uh, sorry for interruption here, uh, Dr. Heba, but uh, to what extent uh, the herring and uh, the smoked salmon as well mm. Are, uh, I believe that they are rich in omega-3, yes. so they are uh, healthy, uh, healthy mm -hmm. and they are uh, maybe good for the health. Mm -hmm. So how often we should be eating them? Uh, fish is a very, very good sort of protein. You can take it daily uh, if you want uh, two, uh, two or three times per week. But if you choose a good protein, go to mm. the fish like reaching on, on, rich on omega-3 uh, as you want, as you mm. want to eat. But, but uh, specifically, uh, the question uh, of Mahesi was mm. uh, with regards to uh, smoked salmon and, and uh, hearing. hearing. Mm -mm -mm. So uh, they I are mean, okay, is, is not, is not like salted fish. fish. No, 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 not like the salted mm. fish, but uh, just adding a lot of, uh, of salads with it to, to avoid the excess amount of salt. Uh, any, yes, if any salt, yes. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Dr. Hippa, finally, um, as we are approaching the summer vacations and people uh, tend to go to the beaches and of course they are um, uh, facing the sun and maybe uh, dehydrated to uh, somehow. Mm -hmm. So how can we uh, follow a proper uh, diet during uh, our, uh, the holiday of the summer? 
uh, try to go to the fresh juice. I, mean, mm. I like all like, over like the day. Like uh, lemon juice, like uh, mm. uh, kiwi juice, like uh, uh, any any fresh uh, fresh fruits. Uh, fruits are very good. They are containing a lot of fibers. They are containing a lot of uh, vitamins and minerals. Vitamins and minerals very important in summer because they protect you from uh, having dehydration and uh, mm. to balance the fluid system in your body. You have mm. to to drink water and taking the minerals and uh, and the vitamins. The uh, fruits will be the very very good choice for this. After this vegetables and you take uh, fi fibers uh, like uh, cucumber or anything like mm. this all over the and day it, it, it has water as yes well. uh, also like um, in mm. fruits uh, watermelon have a lot of water content Indeed. or any anything like this in any any water content food will be helpful in the uh, summer and in the dehydration drinking a lot of water even cold water any cold water is not bad like some people may say and you just no. drink cold water over the day mm. and listing the amount of calories and go to uh, salads and fruit and vegetables yes right uh, dr heba some nutrition expert many thanks for joining us have thanks. a good day happy i eat you thank, thank you very you. much uh, dr heba and uh, happy feast uh, and with that our dear viewers we come to the end of uh, this edition of the breakfast show you were in the company of myself my Rabia, and my dear colleague Nibin Ramzi. thank you very much Nibin. thank you Mahesti and uh, ladies and gentlemen tomorrow a new edition with a new crew